And welcome to Adelaide Footy Pub Talk. I'm Darcy. It was along with Christy McDonald from the Smithville Footy Club. I am, yes. And how are you? I'm very well, thank we you. We just found well. out that she's a big legend also, that, or her family's a big legend of the Century Knowledge Football Club. Dad's a life member, isn't he? Uh, I know, so. I've basically grown up there, so uh, I have grown up there, but um, yeah, it's, it's a good club. I've always had a bit of a soft spot for it, even though I've moved on to Smithfield to greener pastures, just the stones throw at Smithfield. But um, no, I love, uh, yeah, I love watching them, always have a soft spot for it. So the women's side, if the, say, Smithfield's bigger, I'm so central, I think it would decide to play there, or? Oh, uh, nah, I'm pretty oh, comfortable. Nah, I think I'm pretty comfortable where I am. Yeah, absolutely. Just, yeah, I love, I love my club and I love the girls out there and the lads out there, so don't send me moving anytime soon. I've probably been that old lady. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Turn on, turn on the eight grades. So. Uh, I'm one of the old blokes from this part of the club. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get there, not and, far off. And we've always got Stephen Toasty Clay, who a legend at Port District's originally, but now he's moved on to, or oh, Trying to try and sort of coach you now, the B grade out of the Foss Pendant. So yeah, so how's that gone for you? Yeah, yeah. good. Boys had a good win on the weekend, so yeah. did everything we wanted, and the one's got to win too, so. Absolutely. Flying on two one round one. That's it, and why toasties? Oh, it's a long story, Darcy. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure it's. Uh, I'm not sure it's. Oh, I'm not sure it's. Ah, right, and things we should know about toasties. No, no, it's just an under nine thing, Darcy. It's very. Very silly. So right, okay. Well, I'm just going to put it in the break. I'm like, you're all intrigued. Now, so. If anyone knows, just a text me. Hit us on the SA football. There's a lot of rooms. There's only a free website, and we can say why they're going to put a toast. I'd love to know. I'd love to know. A lot of rooms. Okay. So, but anyway, on the first game, we're right, to Division 6, of course, and we head out to Elizabeth. We talk about how districts and probably the closest game of this division. It was Elizabeth. Uh, 8 9 57, defending hat, district 7 13 55. Well, what can you say? Other than that, what is that one? 13 points, you don't kick goals, you don't win matches. Yeah, uh, so we'll head out to the uh, to go to the Elizabeth. Yeah, just yeah, go to Elizabeth. Uh, goal scorers there were Jay Shepard with two, uh, Emmett Norman with two, uh, S. James, G. Wanganeen, B. Paul Swecky and K Shaw with the one. I hope I got that right. Sorry yeah. if I didn't. Uh, best players were B, uh, P Pudney, B Mitchell, A Stevenson, no, M Norman, B B Anna. And how districts? Alrighty, goal kickers for Hart and District were P Creed with two, S Pro Shaka with two, A Builder, B Lees, and Hall with one there. So. Uh, best players S Pro Zaka, C Thompson, M Boothy, P Creed, and D Ryan. Yeah, no, well done there to Elizabeth, but how did she probably get some goal, goal kicking practice during the week, I think, so you can't get that many goals, exactly. So now we see um, Marion, or at Morrison Lakes, took on Marion, it was a massive win there to Marion, so 17 goals, 12, so it could have been a, a really white wash, they like got straight to uh, Morrison Lakes, 7 goal, 2 to 44, so a very good result in Marion. Yeah, it's, um, I believe, that, is that the uh, Div 7 replay, the grand final? That is. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, the, uh, that was a bit of the table's turn now. Yeah. So, we had our first game out in our region this week, but it's a good club down there. Oh, it's a beautiful club down there. Yeah, it's nice. They have uh, some of the best facilities, I reckon. Oh, 100%. I was just walking out in the field looking up there and just sitting there with everyone with a big screen TV. So. Yeah. So you're yeah. probably the first to start that many years ago at that, that uh, community hub, I think. Yeah. But now you see. Obviously down at uh, Kensington over the Lockleys have got the brand new yeah. companies now, but Mary set the uh, echelon many years ago now. So, yeah. Well, I'll go on with Morse Lakes, but yeah. I know a couple of B graders yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Australiano yeah. and uh, Ricky Emily. Uh, but I'll go on with their A grade. Uh, the goal kickers were uh, I Blumson with three, Ara Gorman uh, with two, M Alsick and Jay Callahan with the one. The best players were R. Fathelberg, C. Morris, J. Manners, J. Parfit, M. Brock, and J. Sonder. And for Marion? Alrighty, Marion, we have P. O'D. with four goals, R. Wade with three, T. Stewart with three, M. Robert with two, R. Hoffman with two, K. Wilden, M. Cullen, and K. Galvan with one as well. Um, best players Z. Angel, W. Callow, T. Stewart, P. O.D. and M. Rolfsharp. I will give a quick uh, shout out before we go. I just sure. realised uh, Ara Gorman, uh, which is uh, Robo Gorman, uh, played Gaelic footy against him. So it's sneaky little bugger. Yeah, Gaelic yeah, footy. So if we play against him, we're always sharpening elbows against each other. So you'll have a good laugh at that. So that's how we start. Yeah. Is that good on you? Yeah, very good fun. Very, very good yeah, fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we head out to uh, the Ingle Farm to talk to Hectorville, and again, this is a massive sport here for some inside. So Hectorville was 17 goals, 13, 115. Uh, easy defending Ingle Farm, 5, 6, 36. 
So we do uh, Hickerville. Yeah, Hickerville. Well, what a nice win for him, eh? Uh, goal scorers there. Uh, James Owen with five, Al Broadbent with three, uh, Al Falco, Zed Stevenson uh, with two, Jay Gordon and Glasson, P. Wooten, uh, T. Smith, S. Powell, and L. Swan with one. Uh, the best players there, best on ground was D. Carl. Uh, second best is Jay Mazone, third best was Jay Denton, fourth best uh, P. Return, uh, Z. Stevenson, and L. Saunders round the best players there. Greasy. Alrighty, and head over to England 5 with Gold Peters, Brad Sanderson with 2, B. Smart, D. Wheatra, and R. Boosler. And uh, the best players we've got Chris Anderson, and Jay Richter, T. Tolby, B. Smart, T. Granger, Baldy. Yeah, no, very good one there to Hectorville, and now we head out to St. Paul's, who um, again, Another big margin here, so they took on Trinity at St Paul's. It was 13 goals, 7 85, and a 4 8 32. Look at the half time scores here, guys. It was you know, very close, only a goal in it. 3 5 23 to 2 3 15. And uh, obviously, um, St Paul's put on the uh, for the accelerator and ended up winning by a fair margin there in the end. That's been that inspirational so. chat. Uh, uh, that's the one, that's the one. And we'll head to uh, St Paul's. Alrighty, so at St Paul's we have M. Pedlington with three, N. Papiano with two, N. Morasca with two, T. Ahern, G. Gibbs, A. Oliciani, A. Mariotti, A. Dane, R. Henry, so we want to back you up there for some goals. That's it. Uh, best players, T. Hennigan, N. Papiano, A. Dane, T. Schlittler and A. Mariotti. I'm going to apologise very quickly. <laughs> the Morse uh, Lakes uh, game was not very much. St Paul's, Marion, Quite correct. Yes. Technically, there was him team, though. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's right. Yeah, I was up. thinking the <laughs> same. No, I, was, I was thinking exactly <laughs> the same. Right? Uh, technically, when you think they were one, yeah, yeah, yeah. The boys yeah. that play that I know play for St Paul's. Yes. Uh, so that was San Fernando, and um, yeah, yeah, they play big go to St Paul's. So excuse my. Uh, no, no, make one mistake in every round. Yeah, yeah. So. With all that and due, uh, all that aside, I'll go to Trinity's uh, goal kickers. Uh, Jay O'Hara uh, with one, A Wall with one, C Burton with one, and G Chamberlain with one. Uh, best players, Jay O'Hara, J Forward, A Hogan, uh, B Cameron, and C Burt. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, very well done, and we head out to the last game where um, it was out at Power Hills, took on uh, Blackfriars, another massive win here to, to Blackfriars, 18 goals, 18, 126, defended Power Hills, 2 goals, 5, so massive, when you look, they, they scored 2 goals to the first quarter Power Hills, and only scored 3 points after that whole game, so that doesn't quite look the cause, does it, so, uh, but anyway, over to, it looks like they were Really annoying because they didn't even pick any best players at Parry Hills, so they were not happy at all. So, anyway, it's still out of two goals. Parry Hills, Gokigas, Eskilman, and D. Weetra. That was more of a. Yeah, I'll go. Black Friars, I'm going to be a bigger list. All right, I'm going to apologise in advance if I get any of these wrong, but uh, you got A. Scafidi Muta with yep. six, uh, G. Velotti with three, M. River with three, A. Constantino with two. D. Richardson with two, B. Hodgson with one, and D. Convenio with one. Best players there were S. Murphy, best on ground, uh, D. Richardson, M. Brincat, F. Marathon Fiotti, and uh, M. Milne. And it looks like we've got our first prize. We've got uh, Scafio Muta kicking six goals, not being the best player. So that's devastating. That's, that would be devastating. He'd be waiting for his chicken pack or at least something here. A, a yep. drink card or something. Absolutely nothing. Not a Zach. So, anyway. I'm the best after two or three. So. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you can be adding points. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so we head to this week's game. So we've got Count District take on St Paul's. Um, are you sure? Oh, I don't know much about these two. I mean, brand, these are all brand new teams. Probably don't know what's happened over there. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. rumours of gossip because it's. Uh, but uh, the Black Friars are taking on Mawson Lakes. Uh, Marion take on Elizabeth. So it'll be a fair trip for Elizabeth to go down. Hector will take on Parry Hills. And Trinity are taking on the front yeah, run. So, I guess it's beginning of the year, you don't really know who to what to wear. So, it's, it's just a massive, well, massive scores there, too. Having a, look at, uh, having a look at the results from round one and the ladder, um, there's a couple of good matchups there. You've got a 1v3, yeah. uh, I think you've got 8v9. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be some fairly close matchup, hopefully, this week. So yeah, something to talk about next week. No, that's it. And that's all for Division 6. We'll see you next week.